By the year 1231, the many journeys Saint Anthony has made and the many illnesses he had suffered had taken their toll. Saint Anthony was suffering from dropsy. All throughout Lent of the year 1231, he preached to ever increasing crowds in Padua, but his preaching and the endless hours of confessions left him prostrate. Around this time, Saint Anthony had a premonition of his approaching death. The friars invited Saint Anthony to go to Campo San Piero, a town not far from Padua, so that he might recover his strength. There was a man, Count Tiso, who had a castle in this town. He had been one of the unscrupulous politicians, but after hearing Saint Anthony's preaching, he converted and donated a plot of land to the friars on which a friary was built, and Saint Anthony came here. The ground was damp at this time of the year and it aggravated St. Anthony's illness. This problem was solved when the friars noticed that St. Anthony admired an immense walnut tree on the property. They told Tiso about it and he had a small tree house built in the walnut tree for St. Anthony. One night, Tiso was passing by St. Anthony's room when he was attracted by a powerful light. At first he thought that it must be a fire and so he burst into his room there he saw saint anthony in ecstasy embracing the infant jesus he saw saint anthony holding and communicating with the infant jesus tiso fell to his knees upon seeing this wondrous sight and when the vision ended saint anthony saw tiso kneeling at the open door and saint anthony begged tiso not to reveal what he had seen until after his death 